to my channel once again. Today's video, I'm going to be taking you to the Accra Zoo. I'm going to be walking around the Achimota School area. My school is just behind me. I'm going to walk uh, towards the zoo and uh, do a little bit of a tour in the zoo. So join me as a journey to the Accra Zoo here in Achimota, Accra, Ghana. The pavement of a uh, the Achimota School, Achimota Zoo Road. As soon as I get to the Achimota Zoo, I'm going to walk into the zoo and then I'm going to show you how the zoo looks like. Um, so, as you can see, this is the Accra Zoo signboard. That is over there. Let me zoom on the signboard. So, I'm going to cross over to the zoo. Still walking within the Accra. Um, uh, Achimota Forest area. We want to go into the zoo. Anyway, so I have to show you the disclaimer notice in the zoo. That is the disclaimer notice within the zoo. So I've got my ticket. Uh, it is 20 CD because I'm a Ghanaian. I don't know how much it's going to cost for foreigners. Uh, so let me enter the zoo. Um, I want to go through my, my, my tickets. I want to show the officials my tickets so that I can go through. So, so now I'm within the zoo area. But I'm walking into the zoo. Uh, I was stopped by an official of the zoo. Uh, I don't really know why I was stopped, uh, but I think they have their own regulations and their rules concerning entering the zoo. And so I'm going to walk some few distance, but I. I you need to get some guidance because I, when the zoo was at the other place, I knew it, but now it's in a different location. Um, let me see. Okay, so I'll get back to you guys. Long winding way from the gate to the zoo, and there are a lot of prayer centers. You can hear people praying inside of the forest. Uh, you know, Africans are religious enough, so you can you can hear lots of uh, uh, people singing and praying within the forest but I'm yet to locate the zoo's gate uh, I'm still within the Achimota forest and I want to go to the zoo okay through the forest and I am told the zoo is I mean some meters away from where I am now and I am wondering how I'm gonna walk there but as you go you can see uh, stations I don't know I'm not into forestry station 81 of you is kind of scary i think if you want to come here you need to you need to actually come uh with your car and then drive through the forest because you would have to walk you would have to walk uh some meters up. i i'm sure the zoo is very far away i'm not sure i will be able to go there uh because i i can't see anybody going anybody coming and i didn't come with a car so i don't know whether I, I need to go back to the gate and then maybe get some people to bring me back to the zoo. Let me go back to the gate and then find out. And I, have, I was going, I was, I was not meeting anybody. All I see is people praying around and in the bush and all that. But then I couldn't go further to reach the zoo. <laughs> so I'm returning back to the gate to go and find out if I can get something like a vehicle there should be off-road cars here that can take you into the zoo uh, <laughs> missing there was no one to take me or to direct me to the zoo uh, so i just walked beyond the perimeter of the zoo but i've been told to go back and take my left do this uh, but I, I got here they asked me to i told them i'm going to the zoo they just gave me a ticket to go so this is not a zoo road this is not a zoo road, are you sure? Okay, thank you. And a motorbike, what we call in Ghana, an Okada. I don't like speedo, so you have to take me on a slow tempo. Why should I step my legs? Oh. So, <laughs> I finally got myself some motorbike uh, that is going to take me to the zoo. Uh, okay. So I finally catch a motorbike. Uh, that is taking me through the forest to the zoo. 
I lost my way, so you can see about a motorbike. Uh, this is just an off-road adventure. But I think the authorities need to get off-road bikes here and maybe rent them to tourists that come around. That would have been a very good idea. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you really uh, taken along with me about this because. Accra is the national capital. If people come, I've, I've been to other zoo. My first zoo I went to was in Ibadan, Nigeria, uh, University of Ibadan uh, Zoo, which is not like this. But this happens to be very off-road. So I think they need to introduce off-road services here in the zoo and attack someone. <laughs> it can be possible, right? It's not possible. Everywhere is secured. So the officer is telling me the. The forest is very secured. <laughs> so we are approaching, we are right at the gate of the zoo. As you can see, and it took a 20 city motorbike ride to get me to the zoo. So if you want to come here, you have to get prepared. If you don't have a car, when you get to the junction. Officer, thank you very much. What's your name? You are very helpful. Uh, I'm right in front of the zoo. <laughs> That is Accra Zoo for you. Oh, it's been an adventure. I have to rent a motorbike for 26. I'll put the equivalent in Ghana cities. Yeah, pour, pour it in a cup for me. So, because I'm right inside the zoo, I have to, I have to come on an adventure. Castle Bridge 1, uh, 20.1, confirmed. Yeah, that's all. So I find myself in the in the zoo and uh, I have to come on an adventure, but it's it's good. I'll be covered. I was told to walk, but I, along the way I was afraid, so I have to get a motorbike to bring me. It cost me twenty. I'm going to put the cost of the motorbike, renting the motorbike. So this is the pavilion here inside the zoo. Uh, the last time I was in the zoo was in the 80s in Nigeria. That was in the, the city of Ibadan, Ibadan University uh, Zoo. It's a long time ago. <laughs> so uh, basically, I'm really bringing back memories way back. The comments, I hope this video is going to help you, guide you uh, in coming to the Accra Zoo. Uh, you need to know certain basic things before coming here. But it's, it's a very good experience. I initially I have been I have been seeing the the zoo on YouTube, uh, but I think when I came here personally, I think it's a very nice experience, and I'm just loving and enjoying every bit. About I'm, I'm I've not seen the animals. I'm yet to go inside to see the animals, but I'm I'm enjoying every bit of the zoo for now. Okay. Like local name, local local name. Local name. Local name. So you hear it from the. Uh, this is coffee. Every time you come to you come to the Accra Zoo, look for coffee and then. Beautiful. Yeah. One is from Germany. One from China. Which one is from? So so. This one's from China. The white. No, the brown one. Yeah, from China. Yes. Oh, okay. The white one from Chinese. Is it what, the white one is from China? Yes. And then the brown one? Yeah, it's from Germany. Germany, oh. Accra Zoo, and I'm enjoying every bit of it. I have people behind me. I don't want them to, them to be there for... Maybe probably don't want to, people don't want to see them. Across the world, so I want to hide them behind me. But we are going, and Kofi is a very good tour guide. Anytime you come to Accra Zoo, check out Kofi. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a wonderful guy. So, this is a, a tortoise, eh? No, 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 tortoise. Oh, I don't know much about that. Let me, let me turn my camera to the other side so I can get to know more. They are carnivores. Yes. So, they eat. What do they eat? They, they eat this, uh, a bit of, uh, maybe animal. 
They eat animals as well. And the Muslim, if the if he the water is dirty, okay, they, they kill him next. Okay, so they can identify and kill so it protects the other things that comes into there. Wow. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. So they can eat rats, snakes. Oh, okay. Wow. For a crazy, in your view, and uh, basically, I, 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 I can see you are enjoying everything, showing you what really. It's so different about Krazu. Okay. Kofi is right here giving you. Can't wait to come to Krazu as of Kofi. Kofi is going to take you around. And, and definitely, you're going to enjoy the adventure and in Krazu with Kofi. I'm enjoying they are, it. They are very. Uh, Hit the subscribe button and subscribe. They are very and let me link you up to Kofi. They are very. Uh, they like to prepare their territory. Okay. okay. That like the way lions do. If lion always mark them territory, no one will come into their territory. Okay. So they are almost like so if maybe. Yeah. So if they are more more than that, they will be fighting among themselves. Okay. They themselves. Okay. Yes. Okay, Why? See, um, maybe in, 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 in terms of food. Okay. okay. So they eat only plants. Yes. Um, and grain. Oh. Okay. 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 Here in Accra Zoo. They are omnivorous. That means they eat everything, mm -hmm. from meat to plants to. So they, when I enter, they can chew me. So how how, how do you manage to how many how do you manage to feed them? Okay. Okay. Who can go inside and feed them? Wow. <laughs> Mostly in Africa, right? Yeah, so they are very high. They are very high mountains and deserts. Why? Uh, I'm not lying, but I don't know much about that. One. <laughs> okay. This is their museums and selling at the higher prices. Yeah, they are, they eat their heavy birds, heavy for. They feed on herbs. Permanently, yeah. Uh, this is a fallow deer. But this one's I, I let me ask a question. I used to have one in my house. My friend has one in his house, and he brought it to my house as a pet. Yes. But they can kick you at the back if you want to fool with them. Is it a male or a female? I don't know whether it was a male or a female. But when that, you fool that, with that, them, that, they can kick you with their leg. Likes. Yeah, if you want to catch it, you can kick you with their leg. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. They live in dense forest. Is it so, sir? Okay, so they are in a deep forest, right? Yeah, and their life is 8 to 16 years. 8 to 16 years. So, okay. to differentiate between the male and the female. So, uh, Nepa, uh, Lamains. Uh... Oh, okay, thank you. Usually, I have black one. So, when there's not too much water. So, they don't drink too much water? Yes. Wow. Okay. And so, they live how many years? Let me. 100 to 250 years. Right? Wow. So what is the biological name for this one? Uh, I think it's okay. Okay. They are very shy type. Okay, bush bark antelope. Yeah, they are very shy. They are happy for you. Okay. Was one of my friends brought to my house? Yeah. In the, in the local land, in my local land. Wow, so viewers, we are going to the lion's enclosure, and I love this part of the trip. Closure, and uh, I'm with a lot of tourists, but yeah. yeah. On, I thought I would be like, my son has to leave my territory. Oh! So if, if, if they're at one place, the father might kill the son, or son might kill mm, the father. Yes, yes. Why? It's so, uh, are they, where, where, you, where, where are they do, personally from? Uh, which continent can you find them? It's only in Africa, Asia. Um, but I'm told. Okay, let me let me come to the banner and then I can I can get it from the banner. Whoa. I think mostly they have, see, these, these are the regions that you can find them, so they restrict distribution. Oh, okay. 
I mean, you see, they've been mostly traveling them around. Okay, okay, let me let me just start distribution. So, so, so but they are mainly in Africa and Asia. Yes. Wow. So that means where they are normally, where they are normally from, they are men of habitats that they are most spread around Africa. I feel like Krasu. Habitats that they are most spread around Africa. Wow. Yeah. Forest guard going over there. Beautiful Accra Zoo. Check it out when you come to Ghana. Yeah. They live in rainforest area. Okay. Mouse was like that. And our life one is same to 12 feet. But they are a good yes. meal for the lions and the tigers. Because yes. when the tigers and lions can easily get them. <laughs> we arrive at where the, the birds are. Yes, uh, yeah, the blue, aviary. Blue and yellow macaw. Okay. So far crested kakato, yes. African grey and all that. The one, the one. The one with the, the red. The red. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, their lifespan is 15 to 25 years. Okay. Yeah, and they, they also feed, they feed on. As about the place where the birds are, and I'm enjoying every bit of the birds here in Accra Zoo. I'm loving it, but check my video title. <laughs> what do you have to know before coming to Accra Zoo? Check it out. Long as this, this one. one is millipede. Yeah. Ghana, we have long ones. It's a millipede. Yeah. Big up, Kofi. Thank you very much. So, these are the Nile crocodiles. On, they are from the Nile River, eh? Yeah, Nile crocodile. Yeah. But we can't see them. I can see only the baby. The big, these are the big one over there. That's the big one. Okay. The ones, the ones sleeping there. But oh, they are not so too they, big like that. They, they mm. feed on mammals, birds, fish. Lifespan is 20 to 40 years. Yes. Wow, you can see from the back. They count, they, they feed on grass for pets, grains, caterpillars, grass, seeds. Ah, crazy. The black crane. Crane, okay. Are they harmful? Open savanna areas. Okay. Uh, okay, that's the African rock python. Yeah, this is the African rock python. <laughs> where, where is it? They're mostly hidden too. Okay, they hit. Sound the tapos part. Yeah. Inside. Huh? No. Okay. <laughs> this young girl is brave, eh? It's hidden. Yeah, they like to hide. But I'm told they are bigger like this tree. These are python. These are African rock python. So that's the African rock python. Ah, okay. Snakes. If they feed them small animals. Cobra. Cobra. Whoa. This one, that one is very big. Oh. Python. So how did they wake up? <laughs> Python. They pick things. Oh, okay. They, they pick like. Oh, okay. They pressure in the atmosphere. Okay. Like the okay. So that, that's how they move about. Okay. Okay, right. so that's how come they can chase you, yes. and then you'll be afraid, yes. and then you fall down, they will bite you. Funny enough, the, the snakes are so afraid of us, also afraid of, of course. Yeah, okay, so they are defending or attacking at the same time. Yes, seller, big up.
Ish, ish, ish. <laughs> wait, it's a tiny one too. You fall, we can take it again. Okay? I know, the way, the way you shoot it, take out the arm. Oh, okay. So, viewers, I'm out of there. This is where we are. Uh, wildlife experience of a kind. <laughs> I'm out. Check out my 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 Ukada rider. <laughs> no, 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 okay, sorry. Uh, my friend, uh, who is a tourist guard here, who really came to pick me up. Thank you very much. Enjoying every bit of the ride inside the wild. I mean, it's, it's a ride inside the wild, but you just enjoy it. I mean. Very riding around, and I mean, I mean, so interested. And don't forget to so, 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 uh, subscribe to my channel. My channel is very young. We are not 1,000 yet. Help the channel with 1,000 so that we can give you more of this. All right, thank you.